<laughs> First, they brought you slime. Then, they grossed you out. Now, Nickelodeon brings you their crowning achievement. The best appropriation of Asian culture since Ghost Dog, Way of the Samurai. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Avatar, the last airbender. What? Experience the show that everyone loves, and since it's been on Netflix, no one will shut up about. <laughs> Full of bright colors, silly jokes, and simple life lessons that will delight your inner eight year old. Because this show was made for actual eight year olds. <laughs> But who cares? I'd give my firstborn if it meant we'd get a season four. Why didn't they make a season four anyway? Shot my life! <laughs> Enter a world of four kingdoms, each with its own stereotype. I mean personality type. I mean element. Solid earth, flighty air, soothing water, and fiery fire. Where warriors known as benders can fling stuff around by doing karate next to it. Masters of martial arts can turn their bodies into living weapons. And every animal had sex with every other animal. <laughs> chicken. It's a wolf bat. Giant eel hound. Badger balls. Baby saber tooth moose lion cub. <laughs> love is love is love is best not to think too hard about it. <laughs> Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked 100 years ago. And then nothing changed for like 95 years because <laughs> neither side is making progress. Now only the <laughs> Avatar can end this fire fest once and for all. Aang. An elongated baby with a down vote on his head. He's a kid struggling with air tension deficit disorder. Don't start without me, boy! Remember the reason we're here. Oh, right. Time to practice water bending. Who screws around all year, then freaks out the week before finals. <laughs> the invasions in four days? Ugh. Rounding out the Abateens is Katara, a moon powered Reiki enthusiast. I can feel a lot of energy twisted up around there. Toph, a barefoot blind badass straight out of she a Tarantino dumb. movie. Sorry, shoes. <laughs> Sokka, a men's rights activist. Guys are better at hunting and fighting and stuff like that. It's just the natural order of things. Who over the course of the series has the misogyny literally beaten out of him. <laughs> In a performance so nice, he's doing it twice. Something so strangely familiar. Boomerang? No shade here. Get that Sokka money, bro. And Appa, <laughs> the only reason any of them are still alive. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> Mappa. He saved your life three times today. Hunting the heroes is a family of villains who map perfectly onto the Targaryens <laughs> and the Lannisters. Leading the charge of these twisted fire starters is Zuko, an outcast prince made of fire and angst. It keeps exploding in my face, like everything always does. Whose one purpose in life is to ca I need to capture the Avatar. <laughs> to capture the Finding the Avatar is far more important. <laughs> These cowards hundred years in hiding are over. I want the Avatar. I'm chasing the Avatar. Where's the Avatar? What a stunning view. The only view I'm interested in seeing is the Avatar in chains. <laughs> oh, we get it already. <laughs> I didn't capture the Avatar. Who cares? By his side is the big Lebowski of the Fire Nation, General Iroh, a magical uncle on the hunt for some TNA. Sharing tea with a fascinating stranger is one of life's True delights. Your beauty is intoxicating. <laughs> More tea, please. In case someone brings home a lady friend. This is the best tea in the city. The secret ingredient is love. I didn't see you get hit with the tongue. <laughs> These two will carry the emotional and thematic weight of the series with satisfying character arcs that will bring tears of joy and sadness to your eyes. And then there's the other two. They're just mean. Do you like overarching stories, or are you more of an episodic plot person? To that, Avatar answers yes, <laughs> as the show balances serving the main quest with a weekly dose of villages that need help, villages that get burned down because they helped, Sokka complaining, stupid swamp, dumb, ugly vines, Katara getting preachy. It's not like <laughs> I'm a preachy crybaby who can't resist giving over emotional speeches about hope all the time. I know sometimes it hurts more to hope. It hurts more to care, but 
You have to promise me that you won't stop caring. <laughs> the music. And Aang, searching for a teacher to help him master the elements. Oh. Even though what he really needs is a master to help with his blood sugar issues. Mm. I'm sorry. We got your back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Somebody catch him, he's gonna... <laughs> Hang! Don't oh, forget man. to eat your breakfast before you fight the Fire Lord! So celebrate the show that challenged kids with difficult themes. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs. In between all the goofy sound effects. That's probably the closest thing we have to a successor to Star Wars, mm. in that the original is beloved but nitpicked, and the sequel pissed a bunch of people off. <laughs> ah well, at least no one will ever try to make a live action adaptation ever again. <laughs> Why must we fly so close to the sun? <laughs> Starring The Nature Boy. <laughs> Whoa! Nature Boy. This is Katara. She's got my back. Okay, Boomerang. <laughs> Bay Fong, Fa Fong, Fong, Fong. <laughs> Pyro Ren. Spill the tea. Makes sense. Kyoshi Warriors, come out and play! <laughs> Cat bus. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> Stop trying to make fetch happen, Tylee. <laughs> la 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 la. I'd like to take his face off. <laughs> Female cosplayers at Comic Con. <laughs> Chan and Ron John. No joke here, just a big fan. <laughs> Netflix Synergy. There's no floor. It's just a river of lava. Egg face. <laughs> we don't care about the rules and we're not asking permission. It's time to did it did it did it duel. <laughs> Your final test is a duel. <laughs> to the death. And let this be the end of this rivalry. Zuko would have to do his own father. Outside if you're man enough to fight me. Stand and fight, Avatar! Oh, were we fighting? Do you really want to fight me? I really do. You two must duel each other. I order you to fight an Agni Kai. But... Spooky spirit stuff. <laughs> hey, come back! <laughs> Spirit magic doesn't work that way, Sokka. It's more like... <laughs> Ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> First base. What if we kissed? Us kissing? I don't hate you. I don't hate you, too. <laughs> so he... <laughs> <laughs> And death cabbage for cutie. <laughs> that happens so often. Oh, no, my cabbages! <laughs> my cabbages! My cabbages! My cabbages! My cap! Oh, forget it! Earth, Wind, Ang, Fire. <laughs> yeah, this show is okay, but I think they should have gone with the original four elements. Smoke, slime, fire, and stink. Never underestimate the power of stink. This was hilarious. Now I see why people are giving me uh, like, you know, suggestions to watch some of the pitch meetings I've done, watch those same movies or TV shows with honest trailers and I think I'm going to start if you guys are into it. So let me know if you want me to continue this and give me some other suggestions on what honest trailers to check out. This was hilarious. I love this. And, and obviously I watched the whole series, so I understand a lot of what's going on. I could see it being a little bit odd if I didn't watch all of this, you know, cartoon. I don't know. I guess I, I guess I should try a couple that maybe I haven't seen. I'll let you guys know if you suggest some and maybe I haven't seen it. I'll let you know, but I'll still check it out. But maybe in the comments below, let me know. Is it better to watch honest trailers once you've actually seen the movie or tv show is it better to do that first before watching the honest trailer let me know in the comments below also let me know what was your favorite part of this honest trailer uh and or the movie or the tv show in this case uh from avatar the last airbender uh who was your favorite character i want to know that too so 
let it all loose in the comments below. Those are a couple of my thoughts. I want to hear from you now. And uh, again, if you haven't done so yet though, subscribe to this channel. If you enjoy the content that you're watching, uh, if you want to see more every day, Monday through Friday, you can catch us doing reactions to pitch meetings and or trailers, movie or TV. And now honest trailer. So let me know if I should continue this. Like this video, smash it if you can, smash the like button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.